Hi, thanks so much for joining in. You're watching Ask Profit on NDTV Profit. My name is Alex Matthew and with me is Smriti Chaudhary and we'll take you through the next half an hour or so of trade. Uh, I'm trying to understand if this is Cholamandalam Finance or Cholamandalam Finance Holdings. I think it is the holding company that Sarvesh from Coimbatore is asking about. Uh, I'm not too sure about the buy price because it seems uh, unclear. But he's got 600 shares and he's been holding for some time. Uh, on the chart, Rajesh, he's wondering whether to hold at this juncture or to sell. So, um, if you analyze the Chola Mandalam holding uh, stock is in uh, consolidation range. Uh, if we analyze on the weekly as well as on the monthly chart, uh, since last uh, uh, five, six months, the stock is moving in a very tight range. Uh, looking at the near-term, short-term structure, 1200 is the immediate uh, supply zone for the stock. Uh, once the stock manages to take out this 1200 zone, then possible really can extend. Uh, though overall long-term structure is bullish, so uh, he can hold down the position uh, with stop loss of uh, uh, 1080. That's the important level for near-term structure. So if it continues to hold above 1080, there is a high possibility that sooner or later uh, there could be a chances of a breakout above 1200, then possible target uh, we could see towards 1300 to 1350 also. I've just pulled up the longer term charts and uh, the buy price seems to be around 407, which is uh, quite the attractive buy price if you look at the longer term uh, performance of this stock. Would it still be the same recommendation, Rajesh? Yeah, I think uh, he can hold on as uh, overall structure is bullish and the stock is uh, consolidating at a higher band of uh, this rally. So I think uh, after a consolidation, there is a high possibility that uh, stock may attempt to give breakout on the higher side and then possible rally can extend towards 1350 also. So he can now trail the stop loss at uh, 1050 to hold the position. All right, Rajesh, uh, the next counter we're talking about is IDBI Bank. This one's from Shashank from Jaipur. They say uh, they want to they, they want to view from perspective of 6 to 12 months. Now, the shares have uh, we've seen a positive, uh, 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 a po positive stock reaction today as well after the fourth quarter earnings. But from a 6 to 12 month perspective, do you have a certain target on the counter? So the stock is in uh, you know upward momentum uh, since last couple of uh, months and uh, looking at the near term short term structure, the stock is now struggling to cross its multiple supply zone which is based at around 93-94 zone. Uh, but overall the structure for the stock on the short to medium term perspective is on the bullish side. So we believe that you know once uh, this uh, breakout happens above 93-94 level, then yes, uh, there could be a high possibility to uh, for upward target towards uh, 120 to 125 also in the stock. So he can hold on the position uh, looking at the near term, short term as well as the medium term structure stock is in bullish trajectory. So uh, if it continues to hold above 82 rupees, uh, then yes, possible target uh, in the six month time frame we could see towards 125 also. Okay. Um, this is on uh, frontline companies, uh, Reliance Industries as well as Larson and Tubro. I'm reading off the screen. This is a question from Prasanjit uh, Ghosh. He's writing from Howrah. He's asking, why are these stocks declining? Should he hold or reduce or add in the me for the medium term? Um, and what are the prospects? Uh, Rajesh, I'll come to you on the charts because if I look at Reliance Industries in particular, it's had a decent 2024, hasn't it? So, uh, uh, Reliance Industry is uh, uh, in a corrective phase uh, on the near term uh, time frame. Uh, yes, uh, there is a, uh, some supply pressure is taking place around 3000 kind of level. Uh, but uh, if you analyze the long term structure, it's in bullish trajectory only. Uh, though there is some uh, corrective move is taking place since last couple of months, but uh, if it uh, comes uh, around you know, 2800, 2780 kind of zone, that's again you know attractive level to re enter in the stock. as uh, Long-term structure for Reliance Industry is uh, uh, looking bullish, and uh, we believe that you know once the stock manages to take out about 3,000 level, then possible really can extend uh, towards 3,400 also for Reliance Industry. So I think buy on dip should be your strategy. Wait for some corrective move. Uh, though market is already volatile, so I think if you get any opportunity in this volatile market towards 2,800, 2,760 kind of zone, that's uh, again attractive level to re-enter in the stock for Reliance Industry. LNT again the same behavior uh, since last couple of uh, month uh, stock is uh, showing some bit of you know uh, profit taking but uh, if we analyze the overall long term structure it's in bullish uh, side only 
So here also we have the similar strategy. Buy on dip should be your strategy on the downside. 3400 is the uh, uh, a good level again to re-enter in this stock in the corrective move. So 3400, 3370 are the range where one can buy an accumulate again uh, in the decline. Keep your stop loss at 3340. On the higher side, 3540 is the immediate uh, supply zone for the stock. If the stock manages to take out 3550, then possible really can extend towards 3600 uh, to 3700 also for LNT. All right, uh, we flip. Welcome back. You're watching Ask Profit on HDB Profit. Uh, let's get back to the queries. This one's uh, from Swastik, and uh, we're talking about the counter Biocon. Now, they bought the shares at a price of 250 rupees, and the, currently it's trading over 300 rupees, a bit of a downturn today, down about half a percent. Rajesh, I'm going to come to you on this. Uh, we, I, if I remember correctly, two weeks ago, we saw huge volumes in this counter for a week, five days straight. And now that has tried to reverse again. Uh, what, what are the technical uh, um, sort of... Uh, uh, levels that you should watch out for on this particular counter, and would you suggest booking some profits? So, the uh, stock managed to be break out of almost uh, last two year consolidation range, and then looking at the monthly structure, stock is moving in up sloping channel on the monthly chart that clearly shows that you know, yes, uh, there is a upward trajectory still there for the stock. Uh, though stock is in banned period for appendo side, so there is some you know, uh, a price consolidation is taking place. Uh, generally, we see when the stock comes in uh, F&O band, then you no know, stock momentum you know, goes on the sideways. The same kind of behavior is happening in the bio call. But uh, as he has already bought at lower level, he can now fail stop loss towards uh, 290 uh, kind of zone. Uh, if it's old 290 level uh, for next couple of weeks, then possible really can extend. And once the stock manages to come out from the F&O band, then yes, possible really can extend towards uh, 330 to 340 also as overall structure for near term to short term is looking on the bullish side. Okay, fair point. Right, uh, this one's from Rajesh Maheshwari writing in from Singapore. They say they bought the shares at a price of 2,200. Now, uh, the shares are in an uptrend today, up about 4.5%, I believe, on the back of a Morgan Stanley note that has increased the target price uh, 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 to uh, the upside potential of 20% there and uh, a rating from underweight to overweight. Rajesh, uh, do you also see uh, this sort of uh, upside in this particular counter from a six months perspective and if there's any target that you have on the counter? So yeah, definitely, it's pretty, uh, if you look at the a short to medium term structure, stock is now breaking out of last two year consolidation range. Uh, looking at the overall structure, yes, uh, we do have a bullish view on the stock as the stock managed to be break out uh, above 2490 or zone. So if it continues to hold over 2490, yes, there is a high possibility that you know stock may exhibit good amount of rally in coming months and possible upside target we could see towards uh, 2750, even 2800 for the stock. So uh, as he has bought at lower level, he can uh, hold the position as stock has already given a breakout on the near term as well as on the short term structure. So keep uh, trailing his stop loss now towards uh, 2460 to hold the position. Possible up upside in next uh, couple of months, we could see towards 2700, 2750 kind of zone. Okay. Uh the next counter we're talking about is Cantman Homes. Uh, this one's from Raghuram Patro from Mahudeshwar. They say they uh, bought the counter at a price of uh, 655 rupees. It's currently trading at six, uh, 764 rupees. Rajesh, I'm going to come to you on this uh, one. Uh, what's the short term view on this? I think he can hold on the position as stock is uh, consolidating after really. Uh, it's moving in very tight range of. Uh, uh, 720 on the downside, on the higher side, uh, 790 is the higher band for the stock for this consolidation. And looking at the overall structure, we believe that, you know, yes, there is a high possibility that stock may attempt to be break out on the higher side. Once uh, stock manages to take out above 797, uh, 95 pentacles, then possible really can extend towards uh, 850 to 880 also. So for short term, our view is on the bullish side. Keep your trailing stop loss towards uh, 735 uh, hold your position and uh, possible really can extend towards 840, 850. Zone. Okay, coming back to you on HCL Tech, and this is a question from Nagendra. Would you buy at this current level? I, I think, think in most of yeah. the ID stocks. 
Yeah, so there is a, you know, corrective move is uh, taking place in most of the IT stock. SL take is again also in the correction. Uh, now, looking at the near term structure, uh, there is a high possibility that, you know, stock may uh, attempt to take supports around 13, 13, 13, 20 kind of zone. That's the important level in this decline. So I think uh, he should review around 13, 30, 13, 20. If it's uh, hold those levels, then yes, uh, he can buy the stock with very small stop loss of 1290. And again, in the pullback, the major supply zone is still placed at around 14, 14, 14, 50 zone where he can book profits. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we're completely out of time on this edition of Ask Profit. Thank you so much, uh, Gorang and Rajesh, for joining us today and for answering questions for us. And viewers, uh, hopefully we were able to take your questions, but if not, we'll be back tomorrow and take more questions. But don't go anywhere. We have lots more lined up for you on the other side. Stay tuned.